storm, which is moving in our direction, and all of us are definitely going to be seeing some snow this weekend. Let's go ahead and start with some temperatures from today. You saw how cold it got this morning and probably felt it. The low temperature actually dropped down to 10 below zero. And that's the coldest temperature we have had this late in the season. So it definitely was a cold one out there today. Of course, it was a record as well. And our uh, temperatures today up around 11 degrees for the afternoon. Eight degrees right now. Winds out of the south southeast at six miles per hour. Wind chill at two below zero. I do expect these temperatures are actually going to rise as we go into tomorrow morning. We'll get into the teens by the time you walk out the door in the morning. High temperature 11 degrees, 30 degrees below the average of 41. There's your new record low temperature. For the state, 10 below zero. The old one, two below. That was set back in 19. Uh, actually, it was 36 when that was set. As we take a look at the temperatures for tomorrow, this is the setup for tomorrow, and these temperatures are what are going to make the forecast, especially in Pittsburgh, down to the south. Fairly difficult. Adding in a few different variables with this temperatures means that you can have rain, you can have a little freezing rain, you can have some snow, and we'll show you that in just a minute. In the morning, you can see those temperatures will be rising through the morning hours until we get above freezing. We haven't been above freezing in eight days, or for eight days in a row, we've been below freezing, so at least we'll get a little bit above that. Big story for tomorrow is right here. This is the big storm that is moving in. You can see even this far south, we're seeing snow with this as it moves up into Pittsburgh. So we have all this moisture which is being thrown into the cold air that we have in place right now. So all of this starts to snow as we head into tomorrow morning. You see the leading edge right now moving through Kentucky, heading towards Indianapolis and Cincinnati. Likely we'll make it here, the leading edge around six o'clock in the morning, and then we'll have some widespread snow really through all the morning hours and into the afternoon. And as we take a look at eight o'clock in the morning, there's the snow moving through. We take it into the afternoon. And you can see from Pittsburgh down to the south, these are the areas where where we could have that wintry mix. So, Pittsburgh to the north, it looks like you're going to be in all snow. And of course, that makes a big difference in how much snow is going to be on the ground. And of course, if you have snow and then you have rain, that snow can get washed away. So, a big difference on who is going to be seeing snow and who's going to be seeing rain. And where that line ends up as far as the rain snow line, how far north it goes, is going to depend on how much snow you'll see in your location. So, let's break it down a little bit closer here. 7 o'clock in the morning, we have all that moisture running into cold air. So we're going to see all snow to begin. Then, as we go towards noontime, just about everybody is still in the snow. You can see a little bit of rain. And then we take it later in the day at 4 o'clock. This is where we're going to start to see that warm air begin to push up. It's actually called the warm air tongue that's uh, moving up into the uh, region. So some areas will see some rain. This pink here is a little bit of freezing rain, but most of it will be rain. So from Pittsburgh down to the south, it's going to be that wintry mix that we'll be dealing with. So you'll actually have less snow in those locations. Pittsburgh North, you'll be seeing quite a bit of snow, and that's really going to stay that way into Saturday night. Sunday, mostly cloudy skies in the morning, and then a few light scattered snow showers as we head later in the day. Now, these are all the different models we have for the snowfall, and you can see a couple of them up around seven inches, four inches for the GFS, and the RPM down around two inches. RPM and the NAM are the two models that we really look at. Right now, they're at two and seven inches. So we're going to round it off and make it three to six inches of snow in Pittsburgh for tomorrow, 48 inches in the ridges, then six to 12 down in the mountains of West Virginia and Maryland. Tomorrow morning, 18 degrees, widespread snow showers, 34 in the afternoon. We'll have the snow showers north, rain and snow south of Pittsburgh, and temperatures will drop off through the day on Sunday, all the way down to two degrees on Monday morning, four degrees on Tuesday morning, and we'll have another chance of snow on Wednesday with cold temperatures all next week.